Hello, and welcome to episode 16 of my Colony Survival Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on doing some more research and making some archers and some more wheat fields, keeping the food and the archers. Uh, food up and my defences up. So it's just turned night time, we're going to have an incoming load of monsters, but what I now want to do is if we look in my stockpile you can see that they've been making bows I've set my limit to 500 arrows at the moment and I've got 500 sl sling stones I might whack that up to a thousand but I don't want to just yet because that's going to burden my workbench and my um, oh what's the other bench called that does that I should have realised because I've just bronze anvil so it over overwhelm them no doubt but anyway let's get some archers created so let's switch to this command tool and now we're going to do guards and bows so if we look the slinger does damage 50 hit points range of 12 blocks Ro reload speed 3 seconds this is double the damage with the bow and its range is 8 blocks further but it's slightly increased reload time so anyway let's do the night Guards. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm sure in the future I'm going to be caught out nastily with this, but for now I'll just stick with these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down four, one on each side. I know it's overload, I don't need that many, but why not? So I'm going to put one right at the end here so he can deal with them in that direction and around here at the entrance. So let's just face him that way. There's one. Let's put one over in this corner which I would like there actually so let's get rid of that torch and put him down there and another one down in this corner let's put the torches back otherwise it's going to get too dark and we'll put it next to him Rip this torch up, put it down there, and put this guard there. Rip this one up, and put a guard facing that way. There, yeah, that's four more guards. We'll see how they get on. Let's put a torch down. Right, so now I need to do the beds. Oops, oh, I don't want to fall in there. I'm going to need to place down four more beds. You can see I've been digging away this now. So I've got lots more room in there. One, two, three, and four. Let's get four more colonists. There we go. That's that. Now let's go watch them go up on the walls and start shooting. There we go. Off to their positions. Now that stronger zombie should be taken down much easier. Yep, as you can see, look at that. Now that I've put four archers down, I will easily now be, I should, hopefully, I don't know, it depends on what hard the zombies come, but as it currently stands, I should be good up to 50 colonists before I need more defences. We will see anyway. I need to test now whether I've got enough arrows and sling bullets uh, well, keep monitoring it as I go along. Right, okay, let's do some more farms now. A couple more wheat fields. Because if we look in my stockpile, um, 
I know the food up here says I've got nearly 2,000, which is plenty, but I'm I want to get my bread to 1,000 bread. I want to get to 1,000 flour and 1,000 wheat, and I'm nowhere near that at the moment. Um, so I need to do loads of fields. So I've made room for two over here, so let's do that. One there. And one there. Okay, need a couple more beds. Let's place down three beds. I know I'm going to need the other one. I want to do an, um, another wood farm because with the arrows they use logs to make uh, the arrows. Right, so let's recruit two more. They will come now, start planting. Let's go look at the research, actually. I've been neglecting that. So, next up was the technologist. That's what we need to unlock. So, I'm going to click on that. You need to previously done the tailor. You need one coated plank, two bronze plates, one copper nails. Start the research. It's only short, nice and quick. You can see my stockpile is building up nicely. We've got all my arrows and sling bullets and food. That's the three most important things really at this stage. Make sure you've got enough of each of them. Uh, let's grab more torches. Grab more beds. Uh, this dirt I don't need. That's where I was doing all the digging. Oh, the research is done already. Let's have a look. So that's the technologist. Next basic science bag which is copper tools, copper bronze plate and three bricks. Do I have any bricks? I don't know if I've made any bricks. No, no bricks because I need clay. So that's what I'm going to have to go and do, get clay. Um, that's my logs. I've got 574, so that's still alright. Because if I show you, the reason I'm concerned about my logs is if we go to the metalsmith, you see for the arrows he needs planks and bronze ingots, and of course the logs are used to make the planks. And bronze I've got plenty of. Let's have a look. So yeah, I've got he's keeping up with a hundred ingots in there. Planks, I've got a hundred off. So I have used quite. Yeah, they've used quite a few of the planks. Let's check what my quota of planks is set up. So on the workbench, where's the planks? So only forty. Let's put that up to a couple of hundred yeah that's okay so we're gonna need clay which means now we're gonna need to go a bit deeper so while they're all busy taking care of all of that let's go dig deeper see if we can find clay So we know that this is tin and copper on this level, but now we need to go much deeper. So I'm going to remove this torch from here, put it there, and dig this too wide, like I've been doing. This I want to make 
brick. This I want to make brick. down but I don't know if we've got to clay level yet let's have a dig around dig it out a bit and see let's put a torch down So it doesn't look like there's any yet. So let's go a bit deeper. Oh, I wish I'd stop ripping that torch up. Right, let's go deeper. Let's see if it's on this, underneath this. Let's try going even deeper. Hmm, still doesn't look like this, isn't it? torch down so it don't get too dark. Dig these two out. No, so still deeper. And there we go. Right. I believe we've now hit a level where we're going to get access to all the resources that we're next going to need. We'll take a look at what these are. That looks like iron. And I don't know whether that's gypsum or... Well, we'll have a look in a sec once I've uncovered enough. torch down. Oh, steps first. It's nice to read that they're going to be putting st stairs into the game um, soon. That's really cool. Right, okay. So, another one there. Put the torch down. That looks a bit odd, so let's... dig all of this up out on this level.
don't need iron by the looks of it. This is, let's first throw these items into my stockpile, so I've got room on my hot bar for them. And now let's dig some of them up. Right, let's dig this. So this I think is iron. Yes, so that's iron ore. Next, let's dig up this greyish one. So that is clay, and so that must be gypsum. So we, we need clay, and we need iron. So that's two more settlers. Uh, so I need to make some room for beds. Let's do that. I love the abundance of resources, uh, there's just plenty, which is fantastic, that's what you want, you want tons of resources, so you can make thousands of items, it'd be a right hoarder, possibly they'll change it in the future, but I hope not. dig a big room out here but that should be enough for me to get some beds in so I'm going to need three beds down there so one two and three that's the three different resources on this layer and next I'm going to need crates so I could put the crate Look right there. And a crate over here as well. That one, that resource. Okay, so now I need to do the minus. Well, let's turn them around. So this will be my iron miner. And clay miner and gypsum now let's get three more colonists and that give me now them resources So we should see that start to build up in my stockpile. And we'll get bricks. Here's the minus. Alright, they're all getting on with it. Cool. I'll leave them doing that. There's my copper and tin and stone on this layer. my stockpile and how's that getting on I still want to get loads more bread I'm just 
just not getting enough bread. Wheat seeds I've got plenty of, so yeah, let's do more wheat fields, I guess. Let's just do another one, because I believe I have got room for one more over here. So let's do that, another wheat field. down another bed. And another colonist. So I'm using up 100, 170 food a day. But because I've been, been investing in the wheat so much, it should start to see good increase on that soon. So I'll start to see lots of flour and hopefully wheat. I'm going to build these up, all three of these, bread, flour and wheat. I'm going to try and get as much as I can stockpiled up. Up to 35 I want to wait net 34. I've got an extra bed for some reason. Up to 34 colonists. So we'll see what the next night time brings. See if there's stronger zombie appears. There's some gypsum. So that's good. We're getting now clay, which will enable me to do the next load of research because we'll start to get bricks once I've got enough clay. Oh no, we've got bricks. Right, so let's start that then. So basic science bag. Nice and quick again. And let's go start on doing another tree farm. Really? Oh no, I can't. That's open one. I've got a room. In fact, let's move the entrance first. Oh, research is done. Let's look at what we can do next. So now we can do the kiln. Because we've got basic science bags. and So we need a basic science bag and a bronze plate. So let's have a look. Have we got... Ah, the tailor shop. I don't think I've placed that yet. So... Let's do that. Because I'm not going to get the bags that I need otherwise. So I've made more space over here for this. So let's see, if I put a chest down there. And if I put the tailors. Now Luella mentioned maybe it's the direction they're facing, so I'm going to face it that way on that tile. We'll see. So he's going to make me my linen bags, which then I need to turn into the science bags. So I need another, another colonist. There you go, that's going to give me the tailor now. And let's have a look, what else do I need? I've got a science lab, I've got the tailor shop, bronze anvil I've got. Oh, everyone's off to bed now. Let's go and check with 35 colonists whether we get a next harder zombie. And see how my guards hold up. Although, you know, I've got four new archers, so it should all be good. Maybe I can start getting this ready for doing my next tree farm as well. I'm going to 
probably need to count that out from above. this way. my archers rip through them. Look, look at all the corpses. Mind you, look at all the zombies now. Oh yeah, this is getting much more interesting. Can't see any different coloured tops yet. We know the green ones are the stronger zombies, but what do the other, the stronger than that zombies, what colour tops do they have, I wonder? And I'll check at the end of this night how my ammo's holding up, whether I'm making enough arrows and sling bullets. Oh, there's a fast zombie. Yeah, they're definitely trying to break their way in. Oh, there's a slaughter. Look at that. Oh, what's that? I think that's just a normal stronger one that we've seen already with the green top. Two green tops together. Interesting, see how far these two get. Oh, there's one down. Yeah, you got a lot of damage from them archers. Yes, yeah, so and nothing is getting through, so we're still good. Let's carry on with my next tree farm. Right, there we go. So that's the space ready for another tree farm. Um, let's see, are we getting bags yet? Yeah, we got linen. So now, let's check the science. 
Oh, there's the timer. Uh, so, science, basic science bags, that's what we need. <clears throat> In order to do the kiln. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to end it here because the timer is gone. In the next episode, we will start making some basic science bags. No doubt I've got to make a new bench in order to make these science bags. That will then allow us to research the kiln. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.